Let's start today's tech talk with IQ. IQ launched two new smartphones in China named IQ Neo 5S and IQ Neo 5SE. The first one is IQ Neo 5S. This smartphone has 6.62 inch FHD plus 120 hertz refresh rate, 300 hertz touch sampling rate AMOLED display. Snapdragon 888 processor 48 plus 13 plus 2 megapixel triple rear camera setup 16 megapixel front camera 4500 mAh battery with the 66 watt charging Android 11 with Origin OS Ocean in display fingerprint sensor LPDDR5 RAM UFS 3.1 storage Wi-Fi 6 Bluetooth 5.2 NFC vacuum chamber liquid cooling this smartphone is 8.39 mm thick and it weighs 196 grams this smartphone is launched in three variants the price of 8 gb 128 gb variant is when 2699 that is around rupees 32000 the price of 8 gb 256 gb variant is un 2899 that is around rupees 35000 and the price of top end 12 gb 256 gb variant is un 3199 that is around rupees 38000 the second smartphone that is launched by iq is iq neo 5 se this smartphone has 6.67 inch fhd plus 144 hertz refresh rate IPS LCD display Snapdragon 870 processor 50 plus 8 plus 2 megapixel triple rear camera setup 16 megapixel front camera 4500 mAh battery with the 55 watt charging Android 11 with Origin OS Ocean side mounted fingerprint sensor LPDDR4X RAM UFS 3.1 storage Wi-Fi 6 Bluetooth 5.2 Z axis motor 3.5 mm audio jack this smartphone is 8.53 mm thick and it weighs 189 grams this smartphone is also launched in three variants the price of 8 GB 128 GB variant is UN 2199 that is around rupees 26000 the price of 8 GB 256 GB variant is UN 2399 that is around rupees 29000 and the price of top end 12 GB 256 GB variant is UN 2599 that is around rupees 31000 some of the specifications of Realme GT2 Pro are here this smartphone will have bio base material design 150 degree ultra wide angle lens starry sky mode tilt shift starry sky time lapse video mode ultra wide band free switching antenna technology 360 degree nfc fish eye mode and environment friendly packaging design iq u5 5g pre sale starts from 24th of December in China. This smartphone has 6.58 inch FHD plus 120 hertz refresh rate OLED display. Snapdragon 695 5G processor, 50 plus 2 megapixel dual rear camera setup, 8 megapixel selfie snapper, 5000 mAh battery with 18 watt charging. Android 11 with Origin OS, side mounted fingerprint sensor, 3.5 mm audio jack. This smartphone is 8.2 mm thick and it weighs 185 grams. It is now official that Xiaomi 12 series is indeed launching on 
28th of December in China along with Miu at 13. Qualcomm has already started working on Snapdragon 8 Generation 2 processor and this processor will be launched in May or June 2022. This processor will be on TSMC 4 nanometer architecture process technology. According to Digital Chat Station, Oppo and OnePlus has already started working on 80 watts fast charger and Realme's 150 watt fast charger is also coming up soon. OnePlus Nord 2 CE finishes the inclusion process on the Indian BIS certification. Another Xiaomi or a Poco phone battery is spotted on Indian BIS certification. Lava tablet with the model number 9032X receives Indian BIS certification. Realme 9i receives Indonesian Telecom certification. Oppo files three new trademarks for Oppo Pilot, Oppo Digital Genie and Oppo Underscreen Camera. Samsung Galaxy S22 receives TKDN certification. Dezo Watch R and Dezo Watch 2 Sports. These both are spotted on Bluetooth SIG certification as well as Indian BIS certification. Xiaomi Buds Q are coming soon. Samsung Galaxy A53 5G with the MediaTek Dimensity 900 5G processor, Mali G68 GPU and 6GB RAM is spotted on Geekbench database website. Dezo Bud C Pro wireless earbuds with the model number DA2123 receives Element Materials Technology Certification. Realme 9i receives NBTC Certification. Redmi Note 11 4G receives IMDA certification. Oppo Air Glass receives Bluetooth SIG certification. Realme 9 Pro Plus and Realme GT 2 Pro are spotted on Chinese Quality Certification Center. Poco M4 5G is spotted on F7 
FCC certification as well as IMEA database website. Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G is spotted on IMEA database website. Realme's three new smartphones with the model number RMX3310, RMX3311 and RMX3312 with the Snapdragon 8 processor which could be a GT series phone is spotted on TUV Dryland certification and these will feature 65 watt fast charging. This is all in today's Tech Talks. I hope you like it. Now, I will see you all on Friday with the next episode of Tech Talks by Pal. Signing out for now. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, save water and don't forget to wear the mask.